Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Robbery. Uh, first WNBA video in a while. Uh, made a few here and there throughout the year, but uh, now the NBA is over. Uh, let me get back to it. Uh, been dropping plays in the community just for my subscribers. Did pretty well for the week. Uh, I think eight, eight and one or something like that. Uh, a couple, couple MLB plays were in there. I'm gonna start them videos too. But uh, we got one game today, Lynx vs. Liberty. Uh, they're playing at a neutral zone in uh, Connecticut, I believe. The, um, the Commissioner's Cup, it's an in-season tournament. So, uh, you know, but it's close to New York. So you, you'd like to think that Liberty's going to have some fans in there. Uh, both doing really well. Both got three losses. The Lynx are on a six-game winning streak, I believe. Liberty's on a three-game. Uh, they played back in uh, the beginning of May, I think, or end of May, and uh, Lynx destroyed them. Uh, Liberty, I believe, is a different team now. It was just a bad game, and uh, they're really gelling right now, as well as the Lynx, so it should be a good game. But uh, let's check out these lines real quick. They uh they opened up at plus five. Link says the underdogs you could get them at six and a half right now. It'd be the best on uh better MGM. One sixty and a half over under. It's at one sixty five, one sixty five and a half, one sixty four. Uh plus one eighty, minus two nineteen. And uh Get them up to plus 200 right now, the Lynx. And Liberty down to minus 230, 235, 240. Uh, I got a couple player props, but before that, I just want to get into ESPN saying that uh, giving uh, Liberty a 68% chance to win. But uh, like I said, last game was they got they got destroyed. But I don't think that's gonna happen. This team be a lot closer. You might want to take the links with the point, or Liberty is too juiced on the money line. But also we got some plays out. Uh, Vanda Sloot's been out for Liberty for a while. Her her mother passed away, and she might come back today. Uh, Hamilton, Laney Hamilton's out too. See, ESPN has these plays is out. But uh, it's two sixteen, so the game's not for a couple hours. But on outlier and stuff, nobody's really ruled out yet. It's uh, game time decisions, so not exactly sure if they're out or they're gonna play. But uh, yeah, let's get into these player props. The, the line itself always do the. It's been killing it. Last 500% hit rate. Uh, three, four, five. Last six games, she hasn't gone below eight. So, uh, I mean, mind you, those games, Vandersloot's been out. She might be back today, but she hasn't played in over a week, and uh, I think it might be longer than that. Uh, so, who knows how, how long she's going to play. It'd be good for her to get out there, you know, with everything that happened, losing her mother and stuff, but Liberty's gelling, and they got a good system right now. I can't see them breaking it. Uh, assists allow, links are first, meaning they, you know, they allow the least amount of assists. Uh, I'm not, I don't think that's going to matter. Liberty's sharing the ball real well. Um, so, yeah, I got her over six and a half assists. I also played her three points over two and a half. Odds are a lot more juiced. But, uh, Come on. Over two and a half minus 155. Uh, line shot, line shot, line shot. She cleared this the last four games. 
uh, six out of ten. Thing is, you could play her points too. She's been going over that, but I like the assist. And the three is stuck out just because she's been clearing it. She's been shooting really well. But uh, she's playing up the last couple games. Look at that. 14 shots, 11 shots, 9 shots, 9 shots. She's hitting 40%. So if she shoots anywhere close to that, she's going to go over this. It's kind of like a gimme. Uh, yeah, so I liked it, uh, hopefully. And, and this, you know, this is a big game. It's the Commissioner's Cup. It's like an in-season tournament like the NBA has. And they get a nice – they won it last year, so they're returning champs. And then they get a, a nice bonus. It's nowhere like the NBA players, but still, it's, I think it's 30000 a player. So, uh, yeah, so we got her on her assists and her three-pointers. All right, <clears throat> for this third play, I'm going Jones over three and a half assists. Uh, minus 106, FanDuel. She's cleared this uh, seven out of 10. Uh, last five, 80% hit rate. Last four games, seven, eight, five, and four assists. Like I said, they've been sharing the ball really well. Uh, it's definitely stood out to me. Playing plenty of minutes. You could play our rebounds too. If you wanted to, uh it's a good rebounder and the links of uh they're worse at rebounding than allowing assists. Just felt like the last the way the last four games have been going. Uh, like I said, they've been playing really well. I feel like three and a half assists she should clear. and ask you if you could like the video for my new viewers please subscribe and uh everyone turn the notifications on so you get my live bets you get my plays when i don't uh make a video i drop them in the community you get them instantly or uh any alterations or changes uh you just stay up to date on with what i'm doing uh, if you could leave a comment, the likes and comments help get the videos out there as well as some feedback will help me, you know, change some things. Just let me know how I'm doing and give me some, uh, some positive motivation. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I got Stuart assists over three and a half minus 135 on FanDuel, uh, line shop. Pretty close everywhere else, but uh, definitely always line shot. Last four games, 80% hit rate. Uh, last five, I mean, 80% hit rate. She cleared it the last four games, five, five, seven, and six. 65% uh, hit rate for the year, 70 in the last 10. Plays plenty of minutes. Uh, you know, she's one of the stars on the team. There's a few of them, but they've been sharing the ball real well. Uh, they got a nice thing going. They're, they're really uh, gelling right now. They're pretty in sync, and uh, they've been doing well. So with three and a half assists, she should go over this pretty easily. Stewie, three and a half assists. Liberty, baby. Ten over four and a half rebounds, plus one hundred five. Uh, even money on Fanduel. That's where I played it. Links are 11th and rebounds allowed. There's only 12 teams, so it's almost last place. Uh, she's cleared this the last five games. The last couple games, she's almost doubled this. Uh, like I said earlier, ESPN has her ruled out right now. Uh, Outlier and everywhere else has a game time decision. So I don't know, but if she don't play, you get your money back anyway. Hopefully she does play because it seems like an easy bet to cash. But uh, yeah, so we got Laney Hamilton over four and a half rebounds. Four and a half. Uh, good plus money. Plus 172 on FanDuel. Uh, last three games, she's gone four. She's hit this last five games 80% of the time. 
uh, 55% last 20 games. So, I mean, Liberty is good at rebounding, second in rebounds allowed. So, it's almost the best. But, uh, I don't know. Obviously, with her hit rate over the last couple games, it stuck out to me. And I thought that the good plus money is worth the risk for me. A little sun, nothing crazy. Uh, they play, she got these rebounds on good teams. Uh, Vegas, uh, Dallas, Atlanta, Phoenix, these are the last couple of games. So she was able to do it. So I figure I'd give it a shot, give it a shot, give it a shot. Let's see what happens. A little sprinkle, nothing crazy. Uh, half unit, a little less maybe. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop in the in the I'm gonna pin a comment uh this link that you can click and it'll bring you right to Outlier where all these bets are. Then you can enter in yourself. Uh, I recommend you get an Outlier. You can use it for free. Uh, it's definitely a great stat site. I use it all the time, as you guys know. Uh, something new I'm trying. This way, you don't gotta maybe try to find the bets yourself. You just click it and it'll show you who has the best odds for them and whatnot. Let me know what you think in the comments. Ace money to name game, paper to game. Let's get it. <laughs>